good afternoon students so once again we are here online for the dissemination of knowledge and we already started a living god by koizumi yakumo and the first spell is already done so now i would like to continue from where we stopped yesterday page number 24 i am supposed to deal with the last paragraph available on this page onwards and i briefed you that this particular scene this particular description is going to be a very crucial one in the development of the story as you know this was the autumn season all the farmers got their new crop fortunately this year they got a bumper production of paddy or the rice and now they are in a celebration mood as i told you yesterday the entire village was decorated with banners posters and all the young people young boys and girls of the village they were totally involved in merry making and dancing the shrine that is the temple is also highly decorated and all the people of the village were expressing their gratitude to the deity of the village for giving them another opportunity to celebrate the festival in this village as i told you yesterday also hamaguchi is alone at home in the company of a 10 year old boy his grandson and today hamaguchi was not really feeling well he was feeling feeble and weak don't know for what reason and that's why he decided to stay back at home and not to join the festival which is organized and being celebrated in the heart of the village now you see what actually happens in the subsequent development of the story the day had been oppressive and in spite of a rising breeze there was still in the air that sort of heavy heat which according to the experience of the japanese peasant at certain seasons precedes an earthquake and presently an earthquake came it was not strong enough to frighten anybody but hamaguchi who had felt hundreds of shocks in his time though it was twin a long slow spongy motion probably it was the after tremor of some immense seismic action very far away the house crackled and rocked gently several times 
then all became still again this is the para that i read from the text page number 24 last paragraph as i told you yesterday also the subsequent description is going to be a turning point and now hamaguchi as he has already stayed back at home is going to experience something new today according to hamaguchi that day that day had been very oppressive in spite of the rising breeze there in that past year still there was a little bit of heaviness in the heat also and as far as the experience of the japanese peasants is concerned they could understand that something wrong is going to happen maybe some sort of moment in the seismic graph and then everybody experienced an earthquake it was not really strong enough maybe center of the earthquake might have been far away from the village and that's the reason that the villagers including hamaguchi did not experience the strong stroke of or the seismic action of the earth very considerably but hamaguchi realized that this silence is going to have a very shocking experience next and probably out of his experience he has realized that this earthquake might not might not be very strong in this geographical part but if at all it has a center somewhere there in the ocean that is going to invite trouble to all of us and a complete devastation will take place because of the seismic action in the core of the earth under the ground because this earthquake in the ocean is going to create this seismic action and the impact will be very immense at the end now i read the following paragraph on page number 25 as the quaking ceased hamaguchi's keen old eyes were anxiously turned towards the village if often happens that the attention of a person gazing fixedly at a particular spot or object it suddenly diverted by the sense of something not knowingly seen at all by a mere feeling of the unfamiliar in that dim outer circle of unconsciousness perception which lies beyond the field of clear vision thus it chanced that hamaguchi became aware of something unusual in the office he rose to his feet and looked at the sea it had darkened quite suddenly and it was acting strangely it seemed to be moving against the wind and it was running away from the land within a very little time the whole village had noticed the phenomenon apparently no one had felt 
the previous motion of the ground but all were evidently astounded by the moment of the water they were running to the beach and even beyond to the beach to watch it now you see the description made by the author in the following paragraph what does he talk about he talks about that the earthquake might have been stopped the seismic moment which was going on under the water in the core of the earth probably it might have stopped but the experienced eyes of hamaguchi were still anxious and uneasy to explore the unexplored of course as hamaguchi has experienced the earthquake being all alone at his home in the company of a small child of 10 years old probably the youngsters those who were dancing on the floor in the center of the village might not have noticed it because they were in a merry making mood they were in a festival mood and that's the reason most of the villagers did not even notice what actually happened but the old eyes of hamaguchi means the experienced hamaguchi could perceive the matter very quickly and he realized that this earthquake is going to convert into a very high tide high waves and when these waves will hit the coastal area the island where they were living there will be a complete devastation some of the people those who were celebrating in the center of the village very quickly turn towards the beach in order to see the movement of the water and come to a conclusion whether there is going to be any danger for their life and property and when these people have noticed it all of them were astounded to see the kind of waves the kind of tide which was very high and like a demon it was rapidly approaching towards the coastal region of course as soon as they watched it they could not even believe on their eyes because this kind of tide such kind of waves very high waves were never noticed by or observed by or witnessed by any of the villagers including hamaguchi now you see what happens next no such ebb had been witnessed on the on that coast within the memory of living man things never seen before were making apparition unfamiliar specks unfamiliar spaces of ribbed sand and riches of wind hung rock were left bare even as hamaguchi gazed and none of the people below appeared to gaze what that monstrous ebb signified as i told you that it was approaching like a monster because none of the villagers including hamaguchi 
had ever witnessed such a high wave that is going to grab the entire village in a fraction of a second and that's why the author says and clearly mentions here no such ebb had been witnessed on that coast within the memory of living man so you know, for the, for the present couple of generations those who are living including the new infants young people adults even old people all these people have never seen such kind of high tide and very high waves in their lifetime probably for the first time they were going to have the apparition which was totally unfamiliar to all of them and now they were totally fumbled what to do and how to do because the wave was rapidly approaching towards the coastal area and that is going to have the monstrous effect on the lives of the people hamaguchi kohe himself had never seen such a thing before but he remembered things told him in his childhood by his father's father and he knew all the traditions of the coast he understood what the sea was going to do perhaps he thought of the time needed to send a message to the village or to get the priest of the buddhist temple on the hill to sound their big bell but it would be it would take very much longer to tell what he might have thought than it took him to think he simply called to his grandson tada quick very quick light me a torch see now how effectively in a very beautiful simple language the author has described the incident as i told you hamaguchi was very much there at his home from the balcony he noticed this monstrous wave and now he was thinking of very seriously how do i really communicate with the villagers the first thought that came to his mind was to send a message through someone else to the villagers about the possible threat to their lives and the approaching of the monstrous wave towards the coastal area and second one was to inform the priest as mentioned over here there was a buddhist temple and we can assume that the villagers were also following the same religion buddhism and he wanted the monk or the priest of the village or the priest of the temple to ring his large bell in order to inform everybody in the region especially in the village about the possible threat to their life but then hamaguchi realized that both the things were will take more time and by the time he will pass on the message to the villagers and to the buddhist monk who is on the top of the another hill i think time will be lapsed and by that time the devastation might have taken place and with a view to sort out this problem 
of communicating the message to everybody he simply called his grandson tada whose name is mentioned over here as tada tada quick quick very quick go and get me a light get me a torch then you see what happens in the text i must to or fine torches are kept in many coast dwellings for use on stormy nights and also for use at certain shinto festivals the child kindled a torch at once and the old man hurried with it to the fields where hundreds of rice sacks representing most of his invested capital stood awaiting transportation approaching those nearest the words of the road slow he began to apply the torch to them hurrying hurrying from one to the other as quickly as his aged limbs could carry him the sun rises stops caught like tinder the standing sea breeze blew the blessed land landward and presently ranks behind rank stacks burst into flame sending skyward columns of smoke that met and mingled into the enormous cloudy whirl tada astonished and terrified ran after his grandfather's crying Ojisan, why, Ojisan, why, why? 